occurred until now. Just hours ago, we finally got Rubio on camera, and what he said, it is big news. Senator Rubio says Grush is not the only high-level government official to come forward with these kinds of claims. There are others, he says. Let me say that again. Grush, who you saw on our air, is not the only one to come forward, according to Rubio. Others have come forward in secret to Congress. News Nation's Washington correspondent Joe Khalil just wrapped up an interview with Rubio uh, a little while ago. He joins me live now. All right, Joe, th this is quite a development. I, I know you've been trying to track down Rubio for quite some time. I don't think any of us expected him to say something this explosive. Uh, break it down for us. Yeah, it was a big deal, Brian. And so uh, let's start off with the fact that Grush himself, uh, self-admittedly, is a secondhand uh, witness bringing these claims forward, right? So he is not in the rooms seeing these alleged aircraft. He's not involved with these alleged programs that exist. But he was talking to people who have seen those things. He was getting information from people who were in those programs. Well, tonight, Senator Rubio said that he, the senator, has heard from those firsthand account witnesses to some of these claims. And I tried to press him and asked him in a number of different ways, uh, okay, the people who are saying that they have seen these things up close and personal, spacecraft and others, you have heard from those people who've made those claims. And here's what the senator told us. I'm going to play a, a big chunk of our exchange. We'll say there are people that have come forward to share information with our committee over the last couple of years. I would imagine some of them are potentially some of the same people that perhaps he's referring to. I want to be very protective of these people. A lot of these people came to us even before these protections were in the law for whistleblowers to come forward. Sorry, people who have had firsthand knowledge, who claim to have firsthand knowledge of seeing this type of thing? Or, or have firsthand knowledge or firsthand claims of certain things. Uh, some are public figures, you know, and, and you've heard from them in the past. Others, um, you know, have, have, have not shared publicly. And so we're trying to gather as much of that information as we can. But I, and the reason why I'm being cautious, I'm not trying to be evasive, but I am trying to be protective of these people. Some of these people still work in the government. And frankly, a lot of them are very fearful, fearful of their jobs, fearful of their clearances, fearful of their career. And, and, and some, frankly, are, are fearful of harm coming to them. So that category of people who have firsthand knowledge, who say they have actually seen these kinds of things, do you find many of them credible? Well, I don't find them either not credible or credible because we have no basis. About, understand some of these claims are things that are beyond sort of the realm of what any of us has ever dealt with. What I think we owe them is just a mature, you know, understand, listening and, and trying to put these all these pieces together and just sort of intake the information without any prejudgment or jumping to any conclusions in one direction or another. I will say I find most of these people at some point or maybe even currently have held very high clearances and high positions within our government. So you start at, you do ask yourself, like, what incentive would so many people with that kind of um, qualification, these are serious people, have to come forward and make something up? So, Brian, not, not exactly saying yes or no that they're credible or not credible, but he said he doesn't see a reason for many of these people to fabricate these kinds of things and says that they are serious people. And you just heard him in high levels of the government, some of them even still working uh, in those capacities. He did go on to say, we have to be cautious about this because we don't want to jump to any conclusion one way or another. Many of these claims, he says, are fantastical. So you just have to stick to where the facts take you. Nonetheless, uh, a, I think big revelation tonight from Senator Rubio and some pretty serious information there. Yeah, it's just remarkable that he is saying that other whistleblowers have come forward. And what you mentioned, I think, is what really makes this interesting, that these are people with firsthand accounts. Of course, when we had the exclusive with David Grush, this was information, he's a high-level intelligence officer, but that he was hearing from other colleagues who he worked with. Now Rubio is saying that he is getting firsthand accounts uh, from other high-level officials. I just want to remind people what David Grush told us three weeks ago when we had the worldwide exclusive here on News Nation uh, about this secret government program. I want to play again uh, for people exactly what Grush said. When you say crash retrieval, what do you mean? Uh, these are retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles, you know, call it spacecraft if you will, non-human, exotic origin 
vehicles that have either landed or crashed. We have spacecraft from another species. We do. Okay, so Rubio Joe made clear now that he has heard from other whistleblowers with firsthand accounts. Did he say anything about David Grush? Has he spoken to David Grush? Did he say anything about Grush's credibility? What he said was that uh, the inspector general has found Grush's claims to be um, at least worthy of more investigation and that the in inspector general has found that Grush is a credible person. Now, the inspector general's job in this case is to uh, assess that. If they are credible, then they are referred to Congress. And if they are not uh, perceived to be credible, then they don't get to take that extra step. And what Senator Rubio uh, said, he didn't confirm that he has heard directly from David Grush, but what he said is that the inspector general did refer him to Congress. So uh, that, I think, is, is an important admission in and of itself there. And he did say, again, that a lot of the claims that he is hearing from firsthand witnesses sort of track with what we're hearing from David Grush. So interesting. I knew when you were when you when you told me that you were going to get this interview tonight, Joe, that it, that it was going to be revealing because we had been waiting to hear from Marco Rubio. But I did not expect him to say that they've gotten these firsthand accounts. I mean, just unbelievable stuff. Uh, Joe, thank you so much. We appreciate your reporting today.